Hey, uh, checking out the Dean Hillsborough Active J bass that I've got for sale on Reverb. This is a bass that I uh, got in and restored and took it completely apart, cleaned everything, um, put some shielding in the cavity, um, new strings set up, a lot of cleaning, a lot of cleaning, and uh, now have for sale. So I'll just go over some of the basics of it. Um, I won't really go into trying to wow you with my playing because now that I've got uh, pretty pretty severe arthritis issues in my hands, it isn't that great anymore. But the bass is, so I'll go over it. So it is, uh, as the name implies, uh, Active J. It's both a active bass, as you can see by the knob farm down here, and it is a jazz bass style in that it has the standard four on a side, um, and the two single coil uh, jazz bass style pickups. And uh, I'll go over some more of the features. I'll just go like stem to stern, why not? So uh, headstock, it's got this kind of funky cool Dean Hillsboro shape uh, with the, I, I know they're wings, but uh, my wife says it looks like a handlebar mustache. I used to have a handlebar mustache. If you look at some of my older videos, I don't anymore because uh, my mask wearing days. I, I can't hang with the, with the handlebar. But uh, it is a maple board, maple neck bass, which is really nice. Um, it's a jazz bass 1.5 at the nut. Uh, really nice die cast and chrome plated tuners. that They look like the showers, kind of, you know, um, of that era. Um, you'll see there's no truss rod cover or hole there because it's at the other end of the fretboard. Right here, I don't know if you can make that out or not. There's a little pocket there. It's a 22 fret neck, uh, medium jumbo frets, and there's a slight overhang for that 22nd fret to be in play. Um, great feel. It's a satin finish. Um, it's really quite clean, um, and uh, it's, it's got a, it's very playable. And I really like that. Uh, the body itself is a basswood body. And you can see it's in transparent black, they call it. But when you look at the color, it's got almost kind of a sage greenish tint to it, which is kind of common sometimes of that finish. Uh, you can see it's got a really nice heel contour right here. And uh, four bolt, kind of standard uh, four bolt neck setup. There's the battery pocket right there in the light of the computer reflection. Uh, so it's really easy to access. No tools needed to swap the battery out. Um, the jack is on the corner, uh, edge of the body, and uh, it does have the two uh, single coil jazz pickups that are poleless, which I like because, you know, so, you know they don't get sweaty and kind of rusty and nasty. Uh, a really nice heavy duty um, cast bridge that's chrome plated, quite nice as well, adjustable obviously in all the ways you want to adjust a bridge. Um, with the exception of string spacing, but you know it's a, it's a good spacing. It fits the neck, and the, that's really all you need. Um, and then it's got the four control layout, which is volume master, volume uh, pickup pan between the two pickups, a boost cut for treble and a boost cut for bass. Pretty simple, but very effective. Now these are single coil pickups, and because of that, if they're too, okay, like any jazz bass typical setup, when they're both in play full, uh, they act as a single humbucker. So it's really quiet, it's like dead quiet. Um, if you have one or the other pickup soloed, you're going to, depending on the circuit in your house your, you know, or your gig, you're going to get some kind of uh, perhaps a little buzz, a little noise. Uh, there is shielding in the pocket, but there's still the potential for that. So just, just know that there's nothing wrong with it. It's just the way that that works. Um, but like I said, when they're both on, uh, it's dead quiet. I mean, you probably hear my dehumidifier running. I should have turned that off. Anyway, um, so I've got it going through a 40 watt practice amp, just a small practice amp. Um, and it's just being picked up by the computer's built-in microphone. So this is not any kind of uh, studio quality recording by any stretch of the imagination. 
But I just wanted to give you an idea of what it sounds like. I did do a, uh, I did do a fresh setup with um, DR Pure Blues nickel wound strings. These are a 45 to 105 set, which I personally love. Uh, and uh, I think it sounds really nice. So this is both pickups um, even and everything set flat all the way across the board. <laughs> Um, there's a little bit of fret noise in there, but I have it set up that way. Now, if you don't like fret noise, really easy to get that out of there just by making a simple adjustment, raise the string height just a little bit, uh, or depending on how you want to do it, you could take and put a little more bow into the neck. Uh, the fret, um, the frets are not bad on this at all. Actually, the frets are quite good. It would just require a little bit of, uh, relief. And the truss rod works perfectly, so you could do that with a, probably about a quarter turn of the truss rod if you wanted to. I happen to like that sound. I think for a jazz bass, it's actually um, quite nice. Uh, I'm going to turn it up just a little bit, though. All right, just turn the amp up just a little bit because I can hear the humidifier over there, dehumidifier. <laughs> And I do dig in, I mean, I play kind of hard, so that also adds to a little bit of that sound. But that's both pickups, control set flat, and um, to give you that idea. So I'm, I'm going to run through the same riff with the different settings, just so you can get an idea of the, the variety of tones. So this is, again, both pickups flat. <laughs> This is the neck pickup, same settings on the EQ. And this is the bridge pickup solo, same settings on the EQ. So you get an idea just by changing the pickup selection, uh, you get quite a range of tones right there. Um, if you boost the bass a little bit, this last control back here, um, it's going to fatten things up, obviously, and even with both pickups on and the bass boosted, let's say about halfway. <laughs> Um, the neck pickup with the bass boosted is going to be really full. Whoa. That's a lot. That might be nice for something like, you know. You know, reggae, dub, something like that. A uh, little bit too much for anything else, I think. If you boost the treble with the neck pickup all the way up, you get, that's a nice kind of rock sort of. Um, it's kind of a nice aggressive sound. Both boosted, thunderous. Uh, and then the back pickup, We'll just play that soloed first with no adjustment of the EQ. Just set those both back to flat. Again, this is the bridge pickup soloed. That's nice. Uh, boost the bass on that a little bit. getting to sound really nice and then tweak the treble just a little bit up now that is a great finger style tone I think in the room anyway really nice 
and the bass is tight, you know. I mean, new strings, fresh setup, um, one and a half inch jazz bass. It's 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 definitely good. It's it, tight, you know. More for these old rusty fingers. So that's a, a really usable sound. And then, of course, uh, everyone wants to know about the old slap and pluck. Um, so I'm going to go back to just a middle pickup setting uh, between the two. And this is it with a flat EQ, both pickups. Which is nice. Let's do the same thing. Let's boost some bass and a little bit of treble. Nice. I mean, that's a that's a great sound. Um, and again, that's both pickups with just a, a slight amount of boost on both bass and treble. If we go a little bit further in that direction, hopefully I won't flatten out the mic, but uh, I'm going to go more bass and leave the treble just about where it was. Uh, and this again for... Uh yeah, that's it. That sounds... The playing doesn't sound great, but the, the bass itself sounds really good right there. Um, yeah, that's really nice. So it, uh, it's definitely got some capability for a lot of different styles of music, um, just like a jazz bass does. I mean, it's, <clears throat> it's kind of ironic that it was called a jazz bass when it's been used for you know, every style of music imaginable uh, adequately. Uh, and then harmonics. This thing uh, is so, very resonant. So it's very live, and again, I'm going to go back and just set this flat with both pickups, just so you can hear the... Uh... Um, so yeah, very good. I don't really know much else to say about it. I mean, it's a great bass. It looks, it looks killer. Uh, this sort of aged mother of pearl, mother of toilet seat look is uh, is a good one, and uh, it's just a great bass. And for the money, it's I mean it's killer. I'm asking, I, mean, I started it at three hundred dollars, so I mean for three hundred dollars for an active jazz bass that sounds this good and plays like this, pretty pretty good deal. And you, like I said, you can do. A you can do any kind of music you want on this bad boy so yeah that's it won't bore you any longer thanks for looking and uh check it out